Hello, hello. I am having a little edit morning, or oh, actually I think it's the afternoon now. I've got a little pepperlines on my lap. Got Georgie, Georgie just down there. Got my little candle on. Yeah, just gonna edit this and then it's gonna be time to pick up the kids. just finished uploading my video so I'm just waiting for it to finish um, I'm just quickly gonna hang out a load of laundry I feel like all I ever vlog about is doing laundry I'm gonna hang out some laundry and then go get the kitty Steph has gone to get the boys for me because I'm having a massive massive energy crash you can probably see it in my face <laughs> clean the house this morning um, and then take the dogs for a really big walk um, and yeah i don't know what's going on with my energy level at the moment but it ain't fun so he's gone to go pick up the kiddies i'm gonna make a little hi doggies i'm gonna make a little um mushroom tea thingy i'm not sure i think i might have the energizing one um although oop, <laughs> although the resilience one does sound good because I don't know if it's to do with maybe not feeling that good. I don't know if I'm getting sick. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I love you guys. <laughs> Taste the best. Actually, I'm going to have this one because it tastes the best. Look at this Australian food inspired haul. <laughs> Steph and I have come to London for a breakfast with Amazon. So we're in a restaurant called Bondi Greens and it's all Australian inspired food. My favourite. I'm so excited. Um, Look at these gorgeous little flower arrangements. Oh yeah, I guess it's the same. Yeah. Wow, that's so good. <laughs> We have just finished our Amazon event. It was really nice actually. I had breakfast there, we had some really good food. It was like all Australian um, styles. So like banana bread and fritters and like lots of avocados and eggs and stuff. And we had a bit of everything. Steph ate a little bit too much. I think he's a little bit, uh, he's crashing a little bit. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day in London. Um, so, I think we're just going to walk over to Hyde Park and sit down for a bit, decide what we want to do. We've got a little afternoon together, um, which doesn't normally happen like without work events, like work appointments or kids. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to decide what to do, something nice and chill, and yeah, see you in a bit. Just grabbing a juice from the cafe in Hyde Park. If you haven't had this juice before, it's so, so delicious. They sell it in my favorite cafe and bar. Yeah, so, so good. We've just been sat on these little deck chairs reading our books for about an hour and it's been so nice. Um, I'm reading The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer about halfway through really really good um, it's quite intense it's like a spirituality book um, but it's probably I would say the most relatable one that I've read so far um, I'll leave a link to it in case anyone is interested I keep seeing so many cute little dogs in this park and I really miss my dogs I'm like oh I wish I could have brought them with me yeah I was just saying to Steph it sounds really lame but I'm so like attached and in love with my dogs that I feel like when I'm not with them I just feel this like little heartbreak <laughs> so dramatic but yeah miss my babies I miss my kids too but just used to being with my dogs all day so anyways we are I think going to have a little wonder in a minute into town and just grab a hot chocolate get some toothbrushes because we both didn't want to bring our massive electric toothbrushes 
makes it heavy. Um, and yeah, just see where the wind takes us. Um, we haven't really planned anything for today. I was going to plan like a yoga class and a lunch and stuff, but then Steph can't really do yoga with his foot. And then in the end, we just decided just to come and sit in the park and not rush around London trying to go to like galleries and I don't know, just be in like thick of it all. And it's been so nice just stripping everything back and just taking an afternoon just to read together. Good morning, I am just at London Bridge Station. I'm gonna head home to the boys. I need to do some food shopping and walk the dogs before I go pick them up. Also picking up next door's kids too, so I'm just heading home. Um, we stayed with our friends in Bermondsey last night, which is the coolest area in London. I absolutely love it. Um, Bermondsey Street, if you've never been, is just insanely cool. There's like amazing little independent shops. Yeah, there's some amazing little um, independent shops, coffee shops, bars, restaurants. Like it's just an incredible little place. I really don't want to go. I'm like, if we ever move back to London, I want to live in Bermondsey because it's just freaking awesome. Um, anyway, my camera battery is flashing at me and I'm about to get the underground. So, I will see you later on. Bye. Just got off the train. I am gonna walk home, dump my stuff, have a quick coffee get in the car and go and pick up the kids. I would walk today because it's beautiful, but I've got four boys to walk home and then I will have to go straight back down for parents' evening. Steph's mum's at our house, by the way, so um, kids obviously have somebody to look after them. But yeah, already back in the hectic life. I need to pick up some dinner after parents' evening. Yeah, get back into it. I'm so excited to see everyone. I was sitting on the train I got my little family to go back to. There are these times where you just like, I don't know, you just really appreciate what you have. Hello, hello. Um, this has been a very sporadic vlog. The main reason being that I actually have COVID for the first time. I felt a bit weird on the train journey home from London. You probably see it in my face in the last couple of clips, like I just looked really ill. And I'd had loads of sleep and I was like, what is this weird feeling? I just didn't feel right. Um, and so I did a test when I got home and it is COVID. The first time it finally got me. Um, so I've just spent the last couple of days. Okay, I'm back. Camera battery is charged. I look like absolute arse. Yeah, what I was saying, I've got COVID. And I think I'm on day three or day four, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's not been as bad as it could be but i just i guess my main symptom is just being exhausted like i just feel really really tired even just like hanging a load of laundry out makes me tired so i've been sleeping a lot um both the kids are fine steph's got it too steph's mum has managed to miss it um so that's good uh but yeah my main symptoms are just exhaustion and I keep getting these headaches and they're like the weirdest type of headaches they just feel so strained I'm quite used to headaches because I get them like I get hormonal headaches around my period and I had this headache and I was like this doesn't feel like my normal headache in my body it's unlike any headache I've ever had before it just feels like really pressury and like it sort of moves sometimes if that makes sense that's been fun <laughs> and then I've also got this other weird symptom that's like backache like right at the bottom of my spine like my coccyx and like sacrum kind of area um, and I'm just really hot all the time so yeah I'm just sweating it out I'm actually gonna hang out a load of laundry because I'm like it's half term tomorrow so this is like such good timing and I just don't want to start off half term with like a massive basket full of laundry 
and a messy house and stuff so um the house is okay but i just want to make sure that we have like pants <laughs> for the week because i just need to feel like i've got some part of my life together i've had to miss like three yoga classes two real life and one zoom um which really sucks and actually i really miss it and i haven't even done like any of my own yoga this week which really shows how ill i am because normally i get up at 6 a.m to do that anyway i can't complain because I know so many people have it so much worse and um, in the scheme of things I feel like this is quite mild and I, it's taken so long for me to even catch it so I managed to avoid it for so long so I feel lucky for that um, but anyway I um, just wanted to give you an update and I think I don't think I'll probably vlog for the rest of today just because this is gonna be me on the sofa. <laughs> I think I'm gonna watch some TV and have a nap. Um, and yeah, that'll be it. Just taking it nice and easy. So um, yeah, that's been my experience so far. But I will try and get the camera out at some point when I'm feeling a little bit better and update you. But I hope you're all doing good. And yeah, I'll see you probably tomorrow. Bye. It's a big setup for my yoga class tonight. Um, I'm doing a little bit more of a different class tonight so I'm, having a, I'm putting a little sample in it. I've got a few different lights on tonight because it's really dark and um, a little like ass. I'm still like, I'm day 10 COVID. Um, but yeah, I just need to put a bit of makeup on so that it's not like scary for people. Um, anyway, I haven't picked up the camera all week, um, but I think I'm going to vlog tomorrow. But I just thought I would show you my little setup for tonight. Let me show you when you walk in. This is where I'll be filming. I'm not sure about this light here. I think you can see it on my camera setup and I don't like it. I've um, got my lesson plan here, which... I won't need to look up but I just like to have it there and then I've got my like um, a few things I want to say at the end there I know them but I just like having the piece of paper there just in case I like have brain fog <laughs> and then I've got my sound bowl for the heart chakra and then we have this tripod light which you can fix your iPhone to which I did buy for making reels and I haven't made any reels since I bought it but it's also just really good for like um, just general ring light usage. Got the beast camera, the massive camera. This thing, which is, I don't really know what it does, but something to do with sound, it connects up to my computer. And yeah, the remote control and the Xbox control there, just because I have to hide them from the kids now. Hello, hello, hello. I said I was gonna vlog today, and now it's 10 past four in the afternoon. <laughs> failed massively. Mainly I haven't vlogged, well, because I still have COVID and I just don't feel that great. Like in the mornings I feel better and then gradually like throughout the day, my energy just goes. Sometimes I get a headache. Um, I just feel weird and off and a little bit rough. So I just knew that I would pick up the camera and then it would just tail off. I think I'm just going to pick up the camera now and just do some little bits here and there because I just really enjoyed making that long form content recently. Um, the boys and I had a McDonald's today, we never do that and they were so excited, bless them. It was like the highlight of their half term, they've not had a very exciting half term but they've been really content, really happy. Uh, they love just being at home and keeping things really simple. Yesterday we baked a load of cupcakes and just spent ages decorating them. We made a tent and I let them sleep in the tent last night, which normally I would be a bit uptight and be like, oh, you're going to be really grumpy tomorrow because you won't have had enough sleep, blah, blah, blah. But I let them and um, today has been fine and they just thought I was the best thing ever because I let them eat their dinner in there as well. <laughs> just getting on really nicely at the moment which is so nice because I think last time I filmed, last time I vlogged, 
I was having a bit of a tougher parenting time and I don't know I just think that's one good thing for me to come out of Covid is that it's really mellowed me out because I have to mellow out and I don't know it's like a ripple effect in our family and everyone just seems really chilled at the moment. So yeah we just had a little McDonald's, they are downstairs just watching some TV, I'm just sending out my yoga class to uh, all the people that came last night. It was quite a nice one. I did a heart opening flow with a five minute crystal sound bath at the end. Um, and yes, I'm just sending that out. And um, I've just done a little Zara uh, shop for the boys. I tried not to get too much, even though I could have gone absolutely crazy in Zara boys section at the moment because it's amazing. But they've both just had a growth spur and they dress themselves and they are both just looking a bit weird <laughs> at the moment so I was like okay it's time for you both to get some new clothes um and I do have some old clothes of Grayson's that are ready to pass down to Rufus but they are buried somewhere in the attic deep in the attic and I cannot bring myself to go foraging in the attic at the moment so I did a little Zara Cool. I'm going to show you what I got on my computer screen but then when it arrives tomorrow I will show you in person. It's all very neutral so I got these cute little like fisherman jumpers for I got them one each because I just thought they were really cute. That beanie is for Rufus because Grayson will never wear a hat but Rufus needs a new hat for school this autumn and winter. Um, I got them these wellies they're brown actually they look black they sold out of black in their size so I just got the brown ones but I thought those will be really good for our dog walks that we do every day in the muddy fields um, and also they just look really smart so if you rinse them off you could probably get away with wearing those like if you were taking them into town or something um, or out for the day somewhere I just think they're quite nice boots and they're in the sale as well and then I got these little combats for Grayson I think he'll really like those and this little tracksuit for Rufus because he loves a tracksuit and his black joggers that he has at the moment are too short for him so he'll love that and then I got this hoodie for Grayson which I'm slightly jealous about and I'm wondering if I can fit into the like age 13 to 14 <laughs> hoodie from the Zara boys section he picked some new pyjamas because his pyjamas are too small. He picked this. It's from some kind of book that he reads. It's like a graphic novel that he likes. And then I got Rufus some cords to replace the ones that he wears at the moment that he loves, but they are just too small for him. And then what's the last thing? Oh, the last thing is another pair of the wellies. So I'm quite pleased, but it's not a lot of stuff, but they are back to school on Tuesday. So, um... It'll keep them going for a little bit, I think, um, just to transition into the colder season. And I have just had a little tidy up of my own wardrobe to tidy up. I should have really got rid of loads of stuff, but I don't know what it is. I feel like there's loads of stuff in my wardrobe that I just don't really wear, but I don't want to throw it away. And I wish I was like, that person who could be really ruthless and be like nope it's gone I haven't worn it all year or however long it's gone but there's stuff hanging up in here that I would say like so this is my clothing rail I would say I wear probably up to about there that's all the stuff that I actually do wear and then this actually I do wear those but like and this stuff is all the stuff that I don't wear right now um, that is just hanging up for no reason. But my new favourite thing, I don't know if I showed you this already, is I stole this big black shirt from Steph. It's a Levi's one, it's actually a really old shirt of his. And it has like holes in it and stuff, but I love the feel of this denim. It's so soft and it has poppers instead of buttons. And so I totally just stolen that from his wardrobe and I've been wearing it with um, like gym sets underneath. And I also, these are my favourite trousers. So many of you uh, comment on these whenever I put them on Instagram. They are mango trousers and I wear them so much when I have to do like real adult stuff. 
I always wear those so I thought I would get a pair of black ones as well so I got these black ah, I got these black ones from Zara that are exactly the same and I had to have them taken up by like four inches because I'm a short ass everything I buy I have to have taken up but I thought for the winter those will be great because they're comfier than jeans but they also look smart so got those and then I got some crops that I wear a lot um here's the black version these are just little crops from zara and i actually do yoga in them and i teach yoga in them as well because i like that they're really uh high necked because otherwise it's just like my boobs are just out and i don't like that and then i don't know why i'm just showing you my wardrobe now and then i got these two zara shirts way back earlier in the year when we went to portugal i wanted like some little shirts to wear over shorts and crops in the evenings so i've got a black one and a white one i've literally worn them like once each but i'm hoping that during the winter and um in the evenings and stuff when steph and i are feeling well enough to go on another date sometime that i will get some wear out of the, both of those then i also feel like this is a big zara ad i also have these like bodies from zara um we've got a black and a white my whole wardrobe is so boring it's basically black and white um so i'm keeping those out because i love those and they're a bit boobier than i would like but i just feel like when i'm having like a day where i feel like i'm not bloated or anything those are really nice and i have this old black t-shirt from lululemon which has like a backless bit which i haven't worn for ages but i love and then another Lulu one. I used to work out in these, but I'm not going to the gym. I haven't been to the gym for like five months because of my shoulder pain, which is very annoying. Uh, a couple more Zara t-shirts. This is a, it's got a stain on it because I haven't washed it, but it's a um, Free People cami. And I really like this one because it's really floaty at the bottom. Not the most practical for teaching yoga in because it, kind of like flops over your head when you're doing like inversions but you know we live and learn um there's the other zara crop which i'm gonna put with the black one it's just a, like an earthy green color which i really like with the black trousers the black trousers are high-waisted um i got a cardigan from free people which i don't really wear out of the house because i don't want it to get wrecked because i love it so much it's so cozy and then this is something I bought this year actually from Anthropology, and I've been looking for something like this that was kind of like had that faded worn look for so long and finally found it in there so I invested in it and I absolutely love it. I love it so much. It just makes me feel like I'm in the craft or something. Um, yeah, those are really like my wardrobe updates from this year I suppose. Oh, and I also got, um, earlier on in the year, I got these boots. They are the Vagabond Chelsea boots. Um, I haven't worn them yet this year, but I love them. And that is my little wardrobe update. The rest of it is all stuff that you would have seen before. I do need to buy some jeans really badly because the only jeans that I have right now through well i didn't throw my skinny jeans away i just they're in there somewhere but i just can't do it anymore um so i have these which are from primark about three or four maybe five years ago but they're just really unflattering they're really comfy but they're really unflattering and they just don't they don't look great i don't feel good when i wear them but i don't have anything to replace them with yet so i am not going to throw them away because everyone needs a pair of jeans and then just my Adenola tracksuits, which I actually do hang up. There's a green one. I do hang these up because um, I wear them so much that I don't want to shove them in a drawer. Um, I basically rotate <laughs> these tracksuits in the evenings. And then everything else kind of doesn't really get worn, but is still there on the rail because I can't do a capsule wardrobe apparently but i should because i feel like my life would be so much easier and more chill if i didn't have all this choice of stuff to wear 
anyway it's <laughs> a real first world problem but yeah i am going to go downstairs oh god my arm aches i'm gonna go downstairs now and um see what the boys are doing i hope they're not watching youtube because i told them they're not allowed to watch youtube ironically seeing as we are on youtube <laughs> um but yeah just had a few minutes of like peace while they've been downstairs steph's mum's down there with them um i'm just gonna do a lazy dinner tonight because I can't be bothered to cook and we're waiting for our gusto to arrive it doesn't arrive till saturday this week so i feel like now that i am such a gusto enthusiast i just don't know what to cook when i don't have the recipe cards um because it just eliminates any thought out of cooking which is so so nice um i am tomorrow going for my second um round of laser hair removal on my face um i'll take you with me grayson wants to come with me too weirdly but i think it's just because he loves sj who owns the salon um they get on really well and usually when i take grayson we all just spend the whole time like cracking up about stuff so actually really looking forward to it also looking forward not to having hairy chin hopefully but yeah i'll take you with me and then uh later on a few months time i will let you know how i get on with it um but yeah i guess a little hair removal chat here my hair is like i'm quite pale naturally and my hair is really dark and it grows my body hair grows really quickly um so that's the reason why i want to um get rid of it also because i have polycystic ovaries so it's um yeah it's just more like common to get it on your face but i just don't want to spend my time removing hair anymore so that's why i'm doing it but yeah i'm just hoping it works but if uh if it does i would love to get my like legs done one day um but it's obviously such a bigger area and so much more expensive so that's probably like my, one of my like dream things to do sadly <laughs> to have that done anyways oh i got this stuff today i'm gonna try this because you've probably noticed i've got like really dry skin on my eyes look at that it's so painful and it's more like on this side on this eye um but yeah it's all red and itchy and painful since covid i feel like it's some kind of eczema but see how like wrinkly my eye has gone so i got this stuff it's um the daily repair eye moisturizer from la roche posay um i love this brand i haven't used them for a little while actually but i went through a phase where like this was all i would use um because i feel like they don't put any like crap in their products and it's not perfumed which i really like i don't particularly like when products are perfumed on my face um so i'm hoping this might save me a bit because yeah i'm just a bit fed up of <laughs> like looking gross and feeling gross um so yeah anyways i will take you down for dinner in a minute just making a drink of this eight greens skin supplements um i really like these actually i saw them in a like um what's that really nice shop called planet organic in london but i didn't have my camera with me at the time oh my god it's like my new favorite place um and i went home and researched them and i decided to get them and you just let it dissolve in the water this is really cold water from the fridge and um and you drink it and it's so nice i thought it was going to taste like ass but it actually tastes really good so I'm going to link these down below. I recommend them. I've had about half of them so far. Um, I'm just trying everything for my skin at the moment because I feel like my skin's really dry from having COVID. So, yeah. You can also give them to kids. It's age four up. Not that kids really need collagen, but, you know, some other good stuff in there too. We are having beef lasagna. Um tonight 
I feel like I've been saying this a lot recently, but I'm having a night off cooking. So that is our easy meal. It is meat lasagna, but everyone likes it, everyone eats it. And I'm just gonna steam some broccoli with it. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what we're having tonight. I don't know if we'll have any dessert or anything. Look at Pip, she really wants to come in the lounge. What are you doing, Pippi? In there, gorgeous girl. She had a bath last night, so she's extra fluffy today. Hi, Georgie. <laughs> Pippi and Georgie. Pippi and Georgie. Would you rather have a, um, a house um, or the dogs? The dogs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> morning, morning, morning. I am, I say up bright and early, but I literally just rolled out of breath, bed. I'm normally up for like three hours by now, but I've not been doing the 6 a.m. thing since before I got COVID. Um, testing negative today so that's good still feeling rough though i am um heading down to my nail salon um because sj the lady who runs it she is gonna do some hair removal on my chin i think i talked about this um fairly recently i talked about this and so I had the patch test done and now I'm gonna go and have the first session done. I have brought my morning smoothie with me because I didn't want to come home and be hungry because we are planning our first little day trip for the whole of our term. Um, seeing as we're both feeling a bit better, we're gonna go to Stourhead for the day with the boys. Um, so that'll be good. But yeah, let's go to SJ's. I just got to SJ's. Here's the woman herself. Say hi, SJ. Hi. <laughs> and this is the hair removal beast. I'm very excited about this. Me too. <laughs> Which just mixed in a little bit on top. Then have you heard of something called grape nuts? No. No. Like, I just know. You... toenails painted it's been a while they're really gross um because normally i wouldn't bother but i'm filming my next yoga package on tuesday so i don't want manky feet <laughs> it's like a big thing of mine i just don't want anyone to see my manky feet so i'm gonna get them sorted out <laughs> this is sj's overnight oats she's gonna let me try a bit every time i come in sj always gives me recipes it's an addiction and her cooking is amazing honestly amazing i keep telling her to write a cookbook this looks insane all done at sj's <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna go home put a little bit of makeup on and make some sandwiches make a little picnic and some tea and some hot chocolate for our trip to Stourhead. It's actually quite a nice day now, which is good. So yeah, let's go. The kids' Zara order has just arrived and I was gonna do like a little mini haul, um, but they were so excited when the package arrived, they basically ripped it open and they're wearing all the clothes already. Um, but yeah, I will show you a couple of bits. Just waiting for staff to put up a job before we go. This is for Rufus. It's a little black jersey jumper and he's got the matching trousers on at the moment. I'll show them to you in a minute. And then I also got him these cute little cords. I'm really into cords right now. Um, and he has a pair 
this pair here that he's been living in, but they are quite tight on him now, so I just yeah. updated those. And then I got them both, I actually accidentally ordered an extra one of these, so I need to send it back, but I got them both this jumper, which is so nice. I'm thinking I might actually order myself, because it's so big, this is age 9 to 10. I feel like I might order myself yeah. one in the uh, age 13 to 14 <laughs> size because the boys section is so nice. Turn around. Grayson's got his new and jumper on. Grandma's really just moved big. the button for your trousers because they're a bit big. I'm Come here so I can I'm see in the light. Here. Oh nice. Come here so I can see in the light. And Grayson's got these like combat trousers. They're like a khaki green and then we got him these wellies which are so cute I love them they're like Chelsea boots they're dark brown I don't know if you can see them but they just look really smart they're really big though are they a bit big Chelsea you could put an extra pair of socks on there's Chelsea another pair yeah an extra pair of socks that's what I do if my shoes are ever too big for me just put an extra pair of socks on <laughs> you look really nice though and then we also got um Grayson, a new pair of pajamas. What's the name of this dude, Gray? Murato. Murato. And he's from what book? Is it the Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Z, which I always get the name wrong. Um, but Grayson's really into this. It's like a, um, what do you call those comic book style things? No, well, graphic novel. It's like a graphic novel for kids. Um, Mixed fiction, not non fiction. And, oh, nice. And they happen to have the pajamas in Zara, which I didn't think it was like a mainstream yeah. thing, but and they got little grey bottoms. So we got those, and then one last thing. Mommy. We've got Rufus a little beanie for school. Yeah. Um, 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 also, Daddy, if he wanted a fly, and he ate it. He ate a fly. Where did you get the fly from? Mm, over there, I killed it. <laughs> Because Daddy hates flags, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. Now kissy. Mm. Mwah, love you. You want to say hello to everyone on YouTube? No? Not feeling it today? Get one then you, Bye. let's go for a walk. Ow. Back of our car just constantly looks like this. <laughs> I wish I had my life together. Off we go. You're recording, yeah, I am recording. I'm vlogging. You know how to do that? Yeah, you press that record button and then you speak into the camera. Why are you so <laughs> annoying? <laughs> we just arrived at Stourhead. It's so so busy. The queue is massive. We've got some mac and cheese, We've got our sandwiches from our picnic. We managed to get a table. Hey, get away. We don't want you to eat this or sassy sass. Can we play in it? Yeah. Can we play in it? I love these little cottages, they're so cute. I think you can stay in one of them, can't you? It's an Airbnb or something. Jason, do you want to eat no. that? No, no those are fake. <laughs> oh, mouldy bread. Those are fake. <laughs> those worms are fake. Those are fake. Those things are fake. Please don't eat the food. <laughs> you tired of walking, Ruba? Yeah. You've done really well. You walked a long way. We have just got home from our walk. It was so nice. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, I feel like it's such a mish, mish mash. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.